I had a teacher one time. I still remember his name, Basil Calandrus, because it's such an unusual name. And he um, would say to me when I'd be complimenting him on how great he was, he said, don't compliment me. If I'm a good teacher, I want you to be the example of what I've taught in your life. And he said, don't ever look back, look forward. Well, today is a celebration of the 4th of July, all over America. But to really celebrate this, we can't look back. We have to look forward, and we have to look for ways to put it to practice in our own lives. One of the ways is to make this day a new beginning. It's nice to have a day that we think about what we can do because of those before us that did great things that allowed us to be where we are, to give us a foundation from where we can start from. Well, this is a day to think in terms in your own life of celebrating America by taking those qualities that you've already been given, that you already have, and to begin again, to make a resolution to become a better person, to find a new way to become a new and a better person, making a positive difference for those that will follow long after you've been here. They are the people that truly make a difference. They are the people that, that take what they've been taught, what they've been given, and they go from there. They make big improvements in their life. They may be thinking of habits that they want to overcome. Well, with God's help, you can do this. You may think in ways of, uh, that you can become better people in, in, in your company, in your home life, in the path that you have chosen to take. How about becoming more loving, more tolerant, you are thinking today on this 4th of July on ways that you can contribute more to life, just like our forefathers and our foremothers did. They weren't thinking just of themselves. They were thinking of founding something so unique like the earth had never seen before. And they realized that the really good things that would come from that, well, it was beyond their lifetime. But they wanted to do it for those that would follow. There's something exciting about celebrating the 4th of July forward thinking instead of reverse. There is something exciting about this understanding that you have the freedom, you have the qualities, you have the foundation on which to celebrate your own growth and unfoldment. You have a new impetus to go forward, a new vision, and I pray a new commitment to your inner hopes and your dreams. In the Bible, it says this, in Philippians 3, verse 14, I press on toward the goal. I wish you and everyone in your family a very happy 4th of July. I pray that this is a time where you can take all that you've been given and create a new beginning, a pressing forward toward your own goal.